and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, and Jesse. Thank you so much for coming along today. Today was shopping day. I gotta get groceries and I have to get a few other things. First, we're gonna stop at Starbucks because your girl wants some Starbucks. I need a coffee and I need a sandwich because I'm hungry. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get a sandwich. We're yeah, we're gonna get you a sandwich. Um, so we're gonna go here to Starbucks, then I have to run to Target real quick, and then we're gonna run to Walmart. I'm taking you guys all the places. Hey, also, hi, Rowan is in the back boy. with me. Say hi. Hi, I get have a toy. So, we're gonna go get breakfast, and then we gotta go to Target, guys. Good morning, and thanks for stopping me at Starbucks. What can I make you today? Hi, can I get two bacon and Gouda sandwiches? Yeah, two bacon and Gouda breakfast sandwiches. And then I need a... Uh, caramel, um, caramel ribbon crunch frappuccino, a tall one. That's yeah, tall caramel ribbon crunch frappuccino, sure thing. How much is it for a box of the cranberry bliss bars? Ooh, let me double check here for you. $13.95. Um, how much is it for one? For one, it's two ninety five. Okay, can I just get one? And then can I also, do you guys have like a small chocolate milk? Yeah, I have a box of chocolate milk. Awesome, can I get one of those too? And that'll be it. For sure. Awesome. And may I have your first name? Jessica. Jessica. Alrighty, Jessica. It's going to be $18.52. We'll All do right. a little bit of window. Thank Good you. Job. So, she, you want to show them your chocolate milk? Yeah. She has chocolate milk. So, mm. I got a caramel ribbon crunch frappuccino. One of my faves. Uh, you heard me say this. Um, <laughs> but I'm going to show you everything. Um, I got a Cranberry bliss Mama, bar. I my okay, I'll grab it for me in a second, okay? Cranberry bliss bar, and then we got two bacon, egg, and cheese gouda sandwiches. Put this out here. I, I think I've shown this one before. Maybe not. Guys, look at this fantasticness. So, I'm gonna eat this real quick, then we're gonna head into Target, guys, and I'll take you along with. Sandwich. Good. So good. Guys, I also wore a mask when I went and got through the drive-thru. I didn't show that. I've been masking up. I mean, more so than I used to. I mean, I, I masked up a lot before, but after having the virus, and I don't ever want anybody to go through that, so I'm a little more respectful of it, so, yeah. Christmas, all the happy smiles and the wishes, and I want it all from the lights to the mistletoe. Tell me one thing is there anything that you're missing? I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow. Whatever we do, we will be alright These holiday wonders will open your mind May all your wishes tonight come true The love I live, the dream I knew This Christmas I only wanna be close to you but it was hot in the store <laughs> so I didn't mind putting the groceries in my car with my coat off because I needed to cool down <laughs> but we got everything we got a full back end there moving boxes I probably won't show this in the hall oh yeah she got herself a horsey at Target uh, we got moving boxes because 
Like if you watched, uh, if you didn't watch my 40 question tag, you should go watch it. I'll link it down below for you guys. But we are moving back to Iowa within the next year. And this weekend, I'm going through all my kitchen stuff, anything that we're not gonna really use for sure. You know, like a, we've got like a three round crock pot, that kind of thing. We're not gonna do anything that we'll need that in the next few months. So we're gonna pack that stuff up that we don't need, get that ready for moving. And then it'll be so much easier doing small parts of moving because we're gonna move within the next five months back to Iowa. We're so excited. It could be within the next year. I like to give it the timeline of five months. I think it'll happen within five months, but for sure within the next year, we're gonna be moving back to Iowa. So we needed some moving boxes. All right guys, I will see you when we get home and I will show you my huge haul. All right guys, we are home. I'm gonna turn around and show you what I got for $233 at Walmart. Um, I'm going to show you that stuff first and then I'll show you Target. So let's get started. All right guys, so we're gonna start over on the cold stuff like always so I can get that in my fridge and freezer. I wanna start off by saying my hubby got me this beauty off Amazon for Christmas. I'm not sure the name brand of it. I'll pop it up right here for you guys. But how sweet of a Christmas present is this? He is so sweet. For my videos, that's gonna be fantastic. All right, now I'll get into the haul. All right, so we're gonna start off with produce. I got mushrooms, because I have a recipe that I'm doing this week. We're gonna do uh, crab stuffed mushrooms. You guys will see that in my notes for dinner. That's gonna be so delicious, guys. I got some raspberry raspberries to snack on. Those are delicious with some whipped cream, guys, as well as strawberries. These actually looked really good, which is surprising, you know, because it's winter time or getting close to. So, in fact, I found those, and they look fantastic. I'm excited about that. Grapes, because my kids love green grapes. My, they don't like the purple grapes that much. My younger two do, but my oldest doesn't. Um, so, I got some green grapes. Lettuce. Uh, we're going to do um, uh, some sandwiches, guys. That's what <laughs> forgot what I'm doing that with. Sandwiches. That'll be yummy. Make a nice little crispy element on that. I need an avocado because I'm going to be making some taco soup. Uh, create with Linda. She's fantastic. I'll leave her channel down below. Um, she made taco soup, like a keto taco soup. I'm not keto, guys, but it sounded fantastic. We're going to be moving soon, like I mentioned. And so I need to use up all of my stock that I have because I don't want to take that with me. So I try to make recipes this week to use up a lot of what we have, and then I'll just grab weekly what we have and we won't restock up on stuff, which is gonna be really hard, but we're gonna do it. Anyway, I need avocado for that, because I wanna put that on top. I think that'll be delicious. If you've been here a while, you know, every time I go to the store, I get my kids Lunchables. It's a nice little treat for them. Uh, my daughter, Rowan, loves the chips and cheese one. Renan loves the pizza one with the little chocolate bar. And Roxley loves the hot dog one. So I got them each one of those. And then some sliced cheese because my younger two love grilled cheese sandwiches. So got some of that. Butter because it's baking season and I've been using a lot of butter. So I need some more of that. And then I got some brats. These uh, are supposed to be used or be freezed by today. There were $3.76, guys. Saved 72 cents. That was great. Like I said, we're going to be doing stuffed uh, crab mushrooms, and we're going to do steak, guys. So I bought these thin ribeyes. That's going to be so good. Hopefully, the weather will be decent. I mean, it's going to be cold, but decent enough. My hubby can go grill those. That's going to be, oh my goodness, it's going to be so good. All right, pizzas, like always, every week, because uh, uh, we go through a lot of pizza. So, um, I got three of the Jack's pepperoni pizzas, because my kids love these ones. And then my hubby loves buffalo chicken, and he loves this one. So I went ahead and grabbed one of those for us this week. And then I got some lunch meats, because, guys, I grabbed these last week. I have been missing out. If you see these at your store, they're up front by the deli in, like, a little cooler thing right in front of it. Um, I'm sure you could get these at the deli, too. But they already had these pre-sliced. These are so good. And we've been enjoying doing sandwiches for, like, a quick lunch around here. So I got the, oh, great. Oh, man. I didn't grab the honey ham. That's okay. I'm sure this is still really good, too. This is uh, bone ham, off the bone ham. And then the buffalo chicken. The buffalo chicken's great. The ham's great. I got some provolone cheese because we can do this on our sandwiches. Or, guys, I'm going to be making um, some pork chops. I'm going to put some of this on it and then use up some of the mushrooms because I'm not going to use up all those with the crab dip. So we'll use that, cook that up as a meal. That's going to be so 
so good. Um, I got an 18 pack of eggs and then I got, oh guys, <laughs> mommy's treat. I still have some caramel left in the fridge. I'm gonna put some caramel on this cheesecake. It's a New York style, it's my favorite, the New York style. It's gonna be so good. All right, sour cream, cottage cheese. Those are pretty self-exclamatory. I'm gonna get that stuff in the freezer and then I will show you guys the rest of it. I'm gonna go ahead and show you these because my daughter wants to color with them, which is completely fine. So uh, I got some markers because they've been crazy with markers and she's gonna love all these colors, guys. So I'm gonna go give her those and then I'll finish the haul. So now for this stuff, so I got some hot dog buns. Me and my hubby, I, I mean, he might use one. I'm not gonna use a bun, but I plan to do the brats, some sauerkraut baked beans for a dinner. Um, my littlest, or my, my littlest guy, my oldest guy will use a bun. My hubby probably will. I'm not going to though, but got those for them. I got these sweet Hawaiian onion hamburger buns. These look so good. Uh, we're gonna be doing chili cheeseburgers uh, inspired by my friend Paisley. I'll leave her channel down below. Paisley Bradley. Um, she just did chili cheeseburgers. That looks really good. And then we have some French fries. So I figured we could do chili cheese fries and do chili burgers. That's going to be a great meal. Um, taco soup. I'm going to put these little scoops on top. Oh man, that's going to be delicious. Uh, <laughs> tortilla chips. Uh, my daughter will not do the taco soup. So I'm going to have her do chips and cheese. My littlest guy will probably do chips and cheese. And then my older guy will just leave some of the taco meat out and he'll do tacos. My daughter loves bagels. So we were out. So I grabbed her some of those. We needed some tortillas. It's great for quesadillas, tacos, whatever. We'll use those up. Guys, look how cute these are. Little Christmas tree donuts. Me and my daughter saw them. I was like, these are so cute. So I spoiled them like I always do. <laughs> but they're going to really enjoy these for breakfast tomorrow. I got a Coke because I was parched and I wanted a drink. So I've started working on that. <laughs> my oldest guy's been asking for cherries when he has ice cream. So I got these Marchino cherries for him. I'm not a big fan of these guys. Uh, but, you know, he likes them. So... You can have those. We are out of syrup. Guys, like I said, I am not buying a whole lot of stuff to stock up my stuff. Anything you see that's in bulk like this is because we go through it a lot, regardless. So we go through a lot of syrup though, guys. My kids do pancakes, waffles, all that. And I use it too. So we will use this up before we move for sure. I would be surprised if we didn't. So I got the big log cabin. Uh, we needed some white rice. Uh, we just get the instant. Sometimes I'll get the fancy stuff, but this is super nice because my husband likes to do this for like a lunch. He'll do that and like fry it up with some stuff, some sauces. He loves Asian meals, so he'll really like this. Um, so yeah, instant white rice. Big box of that. He'll use that up too, guys. And I have some recipes that are going to need that with soon. Um, Hershey's milk chocolate. These two go together so for christmas like i think it was two years ago i made these reindeer donuts for my kids on christmas morning for breakfast and i'm gonna do it again i will pop up a little picture right here for you guys so you can see what they looked like i'm making it a lot easier on myself this year though so I, it's a chocolate donut and so i'll take this and i'll put it in my donut pan make a donut with it and then i'll put the chocolate frosting on top and then I have uh, white icing up in my cabinet. And what I'll do is I'll make that red with some food coloring for the little Rudolph nose. And then put some pretzels in it. And then I got those little eyeballs that I used on my turkeys. If you haven't seen that, I'll link that video down below. We made um, little turkeys out of Oreos. And my kids had a blast with that. Um, so I have eyes left for that. So I'll use those. And then I grabbed some black gel food coloring in a grocery haul a few weeks back and I'll use that for the little smiley face. I got smarter this year <laughs> but uh, they really enjoyed those so I'm gonna do that again for them this year. It's just super fun, great for the holidays. They'll enjoy that and like I said I'll leave a little picture here so you guys can see what it looks like. Um, I grabbed some Bush's baked beans and maple and cured bacon because like I said I'm gonna be doing brats. We're gonna do sauerkraut, maybe vegetable and then some baked beans. That's gonna be just a delicious meal. All right. 
goldfish we're almost out and they had this big christmas one i know that the goldfish don't look like that but the fact it's in a christmas container how cute is that guys and it was the same price as the other one so i grabbed that my, i grabbed it in a big one my kids go through that quite quickly um mac and cheese we always have to have mac and cheese on hand like i said this is not something like i'm stocking up on guys like we will we'll go through this probably this week for lunches dinners whatever my daughter loves mac and cheese but we got three of the shells three cheese and then we got some some cheeses extra toasty these are the best we really enjoy these my kids enjoy them my husband and i enjoy them guys this was a find of the day i am so excited about these seagram's ginger ale in bottles usually you can find them in cans like the little mini cans which i love but these are great because I could just pour half of this in a glass and do my uno mas with it. Or I could, you know, just drink it if my tummy's not feeling good. And I love how they have the caps on it. So much more than cans. Usually, I've never seen this. This is the best find of the day for me. Guys, if you go to Walmart, this is the best investment. These are 80 cents. So less than the other stuff. And it's a pound of spaghetti, guys. They're already broken in half. You don't have to do it. So much easier. So much more convenient. Uh, I don't know. You know, genius. Genius Walmart. I have really enjoyed these. So I grabbed two of them. In. So, next thing. Uno mas, margarita. This is fantastic. Um, it is the strawberry lime flavor. This is so good. If you put like one or two ounces of that with Sprite or the Seagram's ginger ale, mix that together. You could drink it straight too, but it's a little bit strong if you do. It gives a great flavor with the Sprite or the ginger ale. I really enjoy this as like a little adult beverage when I'm in the mood for it. This is part of my hubby's Christmas present. He already saw it. Guys, we give each other our Christmas presents early, you know. It's fantastic as it is to open something on Christmas. I mean, we're adults here, so we let the kids have that enjoyment. We just get each other little things and, you know, enjoy them. Well, he didn't get me a little thing this year. He's a poop, but <laughs> yeah, a very sweet gift of him. He knows I've wanted one of those for a while. Um, this is a sriracha thing. Look at it. It has ramen in it. And then the sriracha chopsticks with a little chicken on it. That's adorable. And then it's got sriracha sauce in it. This is like a big mug, guys. Like, this is my hand. This thing's massive. So, he's going to enjoy that. I love this little soup spoon. How cute is that? He was super excited to see this. He saw it in the store and wanted it. So, I surprised him. Paint sticks. I have a project. There's a video that's going to be coming up. I have to fill holes and paint in our house because, like I said, we're going to be moving in the next five months to a year. And the people that uh, bought the house, they, like, basically did, like, a flip on it. And they were sweet enough to, like, leave the stuff. Grant, they didn't do a good job flipping it. But they left behind the paint from what they did to the house. So I'm going to fill holes and I need a paint stick. This is the smallest size they had. A five-gallon one. It's whatever. These were a dollar. I wasn't too hurt about it. Now we're getting to the stuff that's not food related. <laughs> spatula because a putty, putty knife. Oh, I call it spatula. Anyway, putty knife because, like I said, there's holes we need to fill. So I got this dry dex spackle. Um, we're going to use that on the walls. You guys will see all of that in the video of what all we need to spackle. And then my kids messed up their door in their bedroom. So I'm going to see if I can make this work. Plastic wood. I'm going to use this to cover up. Like I said, they left a lot of stuff and they had stained the doors, which I'll show you in the video. And I'm hoping I can put this on, put the stain over it, and it will look like the door never got injured. <laughs> hoping. If not, I can return this. I still have my receipt. Nobody come at me for all the Clorox wipes because these are tiny little containers and you can never find these. So if you find them, I was sweet. I only grabbed four. They had a lot more there. But like I said, it's super hard to find these and I am out. So I grabbed four. We're going to be doing a lot of cleaning. Like I said, we're going to be getting ready to move to, you know, all that. So I'm going to need to deep clean this house. Plus we just had COVID. So another reason to deep clean the house. I grabbed four of these Clorox wipe containers this goes with all of that so it's a sanding sponge because if you put that uh spackle stuff on you're supposed to sand it down a little bit because we do have some bigger holes so you're supposed to sand it down and then we'll paint over it 
uh, I needed one of these because our cat litter box is in our bedroom, one of them. We have two. We have one downstairs, one in our bedroom. And uh, my one cat, uh, he's a pretty stinky guy. So, Snuggle. I love the smell of Snuggle, guys. This is such a great scent. If you see this, it's only like 90 cents or something like that. So, that'll make everything smell great. Be fantastic. Guys, these are contractor 55-gallon garbage bags. So we have uh, garbage in our garage. Like we've got Christmas lights that like don't work anymore. We've got garbage from our car that's sitting in a box. We have big garbage pickup coming up on the 14th. So plus we're going to, like I said, we're getting rid of a lot of, I showed the, I read, like I went through my basement, organized all that, got that ready. And there's some stuff that I'm throwing away that I was going to put out for big garbage pickup. It never got done guys, but now it is going to get done. So we grab these bags so we can put everything in the bags, put it on the curb on big garbage pickup. And these are like really heavy duty bags. So that will make sure that nothing, you know, comes out. That'll be great. We have a cat, a stray cat. Well, it's not a stray cat. I think it's our neighbor's cat, but they let it out all the time. Um, and so I don't want a cat getting into the garbage or something. So that'll help keep that protected. Kitchen bags. Uh, I don't know if we're completely out, but I feel like we were. So I just grabbed those just to be safe. I'm not going to use those as a garbage bag, guys. <laughs> those are massive. So I needed some of those. Uh, we're at a Kleenex in the kitchen. So I get the soothing lotion. They didn't have the Great Value brand, so I had to buy the Kleenex brand. Puffs is pretty nice, too. It is what it is. I like these small little boxes because I put it over in this little basket over there. It fits perfectly. Guys, you usually see me buying Rachel Ray soft food. My cats have not been eating it. There's great ingredients in it. They're being little poops. So, yeah, this is what's happening. I I gave in. They need wet food. This is the cheaper stuff. Probably not as great of ingredients. I didn't, yeah, this is not great ingredients, guys. But it stinks. There's moisture in it for them. I have explained in previous hauls, cats don't drink a lot of water, so they need wet food because of the water content in it because dry food doesn't have that so it's important for them to have ca uh, canned cat food so we just went with this it is what it is I mean I'm not excited about the ingredients but I'm hoping it's stinky cats are weird they'll like that I'm sure they'll eat it next up right for cat food guys I grabbed the wrong one <laughs> we usually grab the green bag I can't even remember I think it's it's different than this one, but this is pretty close. I don't think it's going to bother him. I grabbed a small bag, thankfully, instead of a big bag because I had no room in my cart with all the boxes and everything. But uh, this is chicken with chickpeas and salmon recipe. They'll eat this, but they won't eat the wet food. So I don't know, guys. Cats are weird. Love them. <laughs> my little babies. Anyways, so Rachel Ray Nutrish, the chicken with chickpeas and salmon recipe. They'll eat that. And then, of course, cat litter because, you know, they're cats. They go to the bathroom, do their thing. Um, so I grabbed the big one because we have, like I said, we have a litter box downstairs and upstairs. We change it once a month. It's time to change it, guys. I change it once a month and then I scoop it daily. So, yeah, that is all of that. I already put some of it away. And then I'm going to show you guys the Target stuff here in just a second. So here's the stuff we got from Target. The kids already unboxed their toys. So I grabbed, this is gonna be taste test stuff, guys. Super excited. This is the Caramel Corn Clusters, Caramel Pecan Cinnamon Roll. And then we got two of these chocolates. We got the White Chocolate Sugar Cookie Ghirardelli. And we got the Lint Snickerdoodle ones. Oh, my hubby is gonna love those. Um, my husband's ear set that he had, this is his second Christmas present. So. The ear set he has, every time he puts them in his ears, occasionally it gives off like almost like a, a hearing aid, like screeching noise. So I got him these so he doesn't have to put up with that anymore because the sound is horrible. Renan loves Paw Patrol, so I got him Tracker, the Paw Patrol. Oh, how cute is this? This was $3.99, guys. I spent $78 total on all of this. Or it was $77, I think somewhere around there um that was the most expensive part of it guys um I got and some of you guys might be like why are you getting your kids toys because guys I was at the hospital the other day because <laughs> long story you should go to my Instagram to hear this stuff guys 
Um, basically, I've been feeling like I'm going to pass out and uh, my heart starts racing. And what they think's going on, based on what the ER said last night, is I think they have, like, I have, might have an extra electrical pathway in my heart. So I have to go get a heart monitor, put it on. There's not a whole lot they can do for it. They could go in and ablate it if that's what it is. Um, it'd be nice to figure out what it is, so I will keep you guys updated. Check my Instagram, too, because I'll keep people in updated on Instagram. But, yeah, this little Paw Patrol guy. And then they wanted some cookies. Because uh, I went to Starbucks, and guys, I totally forgot to get him a cookie. Renan wanted a cookie from Starbucks. I totally forgot, and I saw these while I was at Target. They have this cute little reindeer one. Rowan wanted the gingerbread man, and then look at the little bullseye doggy. How cute is he? Uh, Rowan got the four set of horses. This was $7.99, and then Ruxley loves, like, dinosaurs. This is a Jurassic World. I think it might be a Camp Cretaceous. Um, it's a paraphilophis, guys, I'm not, I'm butchering that, it sounds not smart, but it's, it's okay. Um, anyways, this actually you can take in the bath and it turns colors. So if it's cold, it'll turn like more of a white color and when it's warm, it'll keep this color. How cool is that? And this was only like, I, uh, I want to say this was like $4.99 too. Pretty cheap, fun little toy for them. They're pretty happy about it. And we got this. We're doing something special tomorrow with this, guys. So, <laughs> um, anyways, this is really cool. It's got the little reindeer, the present, the little dog, the Christmas tree, the little elf, and a, I think that's a fox. Yes, fox. How cute are those? All right, guys, but that is my Target haul. All right, guys, that was a massive haul. Thanks for sticking with me. Hopefully, I gave you guys some ideas of some cool stuff to get. I mean, I got a lot of different stuff that I normally, I mean, some stuff is normal that I get. Some stuff, not so much. Um, super excited to be moving back to Iowa. If you're family and watching this, I'm super excited to have the support and love of family. That's been one thing that's been hard being up in Wisconsin because we have like a small support system because we've made like a few friends, um, but we don't have like a huge support system, which is really hard, especially when you have kids because like we really, and that's when we both had COVID, me and Jeffrey, that's when we realized we need to move back home because if both of us would be sick in the hospital, who's going to watch the kids? Like that was scary. Um, so yeah, that's, one of the things that really pushed us to move back, we just kind of miss family. I know my kids do. They recently saw them at a wedding that we had back in August. And um, I think everybody was just kind of sad to, you know, get to see us for just such a short bit. Um, my kids are so sweet. I just want more people to be involved in their lives and get to know them because they're amazing. Anyways, guys, long story. <laughs> And I'll keep you guys up to date on my health stuff. Uh, like I said, go check out my Instagram. I'll keep it up, put stuff over there too. But all right, guys, thank you so much for coming along with me today. Sorry I didn't get any clips in Walmart, guys. I was just enjoying time with my daughter. And like I said, I got a lot of stuff. <laughs> all right, guys, please give this video a big thumbs up and press that like button. Subscribe to my channel. Click the little notification bell so you're notified every time I post a new video. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye.